Hello, and welcome to Comrade Scarecrow Soviet Russia Past Time. I am your host, Comrade Scarecrow, filling in for Cousin Wandering Scarecrow as he takes much needed break with 8 foot long saltwater gecko he calls Flappy. Tonight we have very good selection of Soviet Russia Past propaganda approved by great Stalin himself and brought to you by the finest bears that money can steal. So sit back, relax, eat bowl of beet stew, and prepare yourself for great communism propaganda. You are home to watch Pravda on television about degenerate murderer who is on the loose. You look out the window door to Beatfield and you notice man standing in the snow. You look like Fotor on television and he smiles at you. You call Vodka, picking up phone to your right and dialing local militia precinct commissaire. Back out the glass you look, pressing phone to ear. Notice he now closer to you. You drop Vodka in shock. No footprints in snow. It was reflection. You dullard! Your apartment is bulldozed down to make way for glorious tractor factory. Legend is being going like this. You are entering bathroom and standing in front of mirror, turning candles off and, while being in front of mirror, spinning rapidly. You're chanting Leon Trotsky, Leon Trotsky, Leon Trotsky, Leon Trotsky, several times, while catching glimpses of self on mirror. It is said that eventually you will be seeing image of Leon Trotsky on mirror. Upon exiting bathroom, you are being arrested by KGB for believing in existence of Leon Trotsky, whom party has proven never existed. One night, man tries to escape from Gulag, makes his way to cabin in the middle of Tundra. Inside it's plain, but many family pictures on wall. He falls asleep. In middle of night, he is put in sack and dragged out. The next morning, he is shot like a dog. Pictures are windows. KGB always watching. There was one suspicious traveler coming to Soviet village, telling Western propaganda. Traveler was traitor to Great Soviet Union. He said the capitalist pig tractor was better. Foolish traveler was sent to Gulag by Great Soviet Commissaire, and food shipments stopped coming to village. Famine took many lives. Thank you for listening to Comrade Scarecrow's Soviet Russia Pasta Time. Join us next time unless KGB shut us down for illegal use of computer. Tonight's broadcast was brought to you by Vladislavsky's House of Vodka. Not actually a business, it's just Vladislavsky down the street has lots of vodka bottles left over that he decided to build house from. Come see it if you've got time.